Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections. Today's topic is gas appliance categories. There's four of them. One, two, three, and four. I'm talking about these because as a home inspector, it's important to know what the differences are and to know which type you're looking at if you're looking at a gas appliance. We'll start with category one. That's going to be most of the traditional gas-fired appliances out there. It's going to be a category one appliance where the exhaust gas is going to be under negative pressure and well technically the code defines this as non-positive and there's a low potential for condensation to occur inside the flue gas. It, it still could occur but it probably won't. With this type of appliance, if the flue is under negative pressure, it means that exhaust gas is being pulled up and out through gravity. If there were a hole in the vent, air would enter that hole. It would not leak out of the hole. Now, some of these appliances are going to have a draft inducer fan. This is a fan that pulls the exhaust gas out of the heat exchanger for that appliance. That fan is not responsible for getting the exhaust gas to the terminal for the vent. All that fan does is pull the exhaust gas out of the heat exchanger. That's all. After that, we rely on gravity. Now, I know there's instances where some, some pressure is going to be pushing up and out, but that's just incidental. It's not the job of the fan to do that. So that's a, uh, that's a category one appliance. And to make sure that that's properly installed, you turn to your code book. Code books are very specific about how category one appliances are installed. Next, we have category two appliances. This is an appliance that has a vent under negative pressure and it's a condensing appliance. Can you think of one of these? I can't. I can't think of what that appliance would be. I have never seen one in my entire life. Therefore, it just doesn't exist. No, that's a joke. It's defined in the code book. They surely exist somewhere, but I've never seen one. Uh, the third one would be a category three. This is going to be a non-condensing appliance but the vent is under positive pressure. So we're not relying on gravity to get the exhaust gases out. You actually have a fan, and it's gonna look just like a, a draft inducer fan, but it's gonna be a fan that pushes the exhaust gas out of the, out of the vent. So if you had a hole in the vent, you would have exhaust gas leaking out of that hole. And for that reason, these vents are supposed to be sealed. To get a sealed vent, most manufacturers are gonna require that you use what's called a category three vent. That this is going to be stainless steel, it's going to have sealed joints, and it's hideously expensive. Just a little section of this, a three foot section of that vent, 50 bucks. I mean, we're, we're talking crazy expensive stuff. And you don't see a whole lot of category three appliances. The one that I typically see is going to be a garage unit heater. So that's a category three appliance, not very common. You need to rely on the manufacturer's instructions for how to put that vent together. They're very specific. The code doesn't really say anything about it. The code just says, follow the manufacturer's instructions. And then the fourth type is a category four appliance. We see a lot of these. This is gonna be a appliance that condenses and the vent is under positive pressure. This is gonna be high efficiency furnaces, sidewall vented, well, power vented water heaters. They all have either PVC or ABS drain material being used as the vent. Today, kind of the new standard is PVC, but they use that because there's so much condensate in that vent, you need to deal with all of it. And it removes so much heat out of the exhaust gas that we can use these materials that have such a lower melting point, we're still safe connecting them directly to these appliances. Now, if you had a hole in that vent, exhaust gas would leak out because again, it's a positive pressure vent. And to make sure that these appliances are properly installed again, we would need to turn to the manufacturer's installation instructions. Codebook is very quiet on how to properly install a Category 4 appliance. They say, turn to the manufacturer's instructions. That's it. That's all. Those are the four categories. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.